Hello YouTube! So, I was actually working on a video about running Windows on Windows 10 on a Raspberry Pi and then the Raspberry Pi 4 got announced and then I thought, screw that, because honestly it wasn't running very well <laughs> on uh, the Model 3 Plus, 3B Plus but uh, the Raspberry Foundation claims that this is very much faster in many ways. We'll have a look at that later. Uh, and also, this will just be an unboxing. We'll have a quick look at the specs. But I want to make a proper um, benchmarking video and performance testing of this. So if you have any, any particular test you would like to see, then leave... Uh, a comment about that um, and if you had like uh, problems with something on the model 3 um, like it wasn't fast enough for certain tasks then leave a comment about that and maybe we can test it on this and see if it's better uh, and also have both a model 2b and a model 3b plus so we can do some performance comparisons between those anyways let's uh, dig into this package I ordered uh, two days ago and it arrived today. So uh, let's have a look at what we've got here. So first the actual Model 3 and a power supply. Okay, uh, first of all you'll see that this says, uh, if we can get focused on that, maybe you can see it. Actually, let me turn on the lights here. That might help. It says two gigabyte. So it, the new Raspberry Pi 4 comes in uh, three variants. Um, it comes in a one gigabyte RAM uh, model, a two gigabyte RAM, and a four gigabyte RAM model. Unfortunately, it looks like people really want that four gigabyte model. So, yeah, even though I ordered it, what, two days after it was announced or something like that, or one day even, <coughs> the 4GB mo model was already uh, uh, so loud pretty much it, everywhere, so I couldn't get a hold of it. So we'll have to go with a 2GB model. That's still double the RAM over the previous generation. So uh, let's see what's in the box. Uh, and how do we open this? open here okay so there we have the little board I think it's the same form factor should be the same size as the previous models and the power supply just get out here like so now we can see in the box one of the changes it says um, DC 5.1 volts, so that's standard DC 5 volts speed power. But 3 amps, the previous models were 2.1 or 2.5 amps, so this can draw up to about 15 watts. And it's a USB C output. So this is actually the first USB C device I own, so I had to order a supply for that. I didn't have any supplies that could deliver enough amps. Now if it really needs all those amps or not, or if it's just for extra power draw potential on these new USB 3 uh, uh, ports, I'm not sure. But let's have a look at it. So we've got some changes. First of all, we see here, and zoom in on that. Here we have a, a USB Type C connector for power. Then we've got two mini HDMI ports, uh, and then your standard uh, audio output. I don't know if it could still do composite, maybe. Got your standard uh, GPIO headers got two connectors, one for a display and the other is probably, I can't see it, yeah, so this is for 
the camera. Um, on the back we have the SD card reader and then we have our Ethernet, our two USB 3 point, I think it's 3.0 ports and two uh, USB 2.0 ports. Um, and it should also have Wi-Fi built in as far as I know. So, I mean, the only thing here is these ports. That's maybe a little bit of a hassle because I don't think it will actually uh, fit in your uh, cases for the previous generation. Normally you will have one big HDMI port here, so I don't think it will fit without cutting some of those cases or something like that. So uh, that's a little bit annoying, but otherwise, other than that, it should fit in a standard case. Um, and that should fit fine, yes. So anyway, that's how it looks. Let's uh, just have a quick look at the specs here. So um, compared to the previous generation, now we have a 1.5 gigahertz quad core 40, uh, 64 bit ARM Cortex A72 CPU. Uh, I think it was A53 in the previous generation, and they claim this actually does 3x performance, even though it clocked about the same as the uh, uh, free, uh, Model 3 B. And then now we can go from one gigabyte RAM, like we had in the previous generation, and we could also get models with two, like I have, or four gigabytes of RAM. Now we have a full throughput gigabit Ethernet. I also think the um, 3B Plus had gigabit Ethernet. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it was running on a slow bus, so yeah, you could get faster speeds than 100 megabit, you could, but you couldn't get full gigabyte speeds, but you should be able to now. Dual band uh, AC wireless, Bluetooth 5.0, two USB 3.0 ports and two USB 2.0 ports, like I mentioned, the USB 3 is new. Then we actually have not just two outputs, we actually have dual monitor support with up to 4K. Um, so that's interesting. We've got the Video Core 6 graphics supporting OpenGL. Um, if that's, I think that's the same core as we had in the previous um, uh, generations. Now uh, they claim it can do hardware decoding of HEVC videos up to 4K 60 FPS. That's quite a lot for sort of uh, a small device. And uh, complete compatibility with earlier Raspberry Pi products. Well, those ports, I don't think they fit in a standard um, or previous generation uh, Pi case. Um, so not entirely, but if it, but otherwise, if it's uh, regarding to uh, software, maybe we can just plug in an SD card from a, another source or another Raspberry, and it should boot. In theory. Anyway. Uh, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, I want to do some performance testing on this. Um, we are running... Uh, like I said, I have a Model 2B and a Model 3B Plus that we can compare it to. So, again, if you have any suggestion as to what benchmarks to use, uh, specific use cases, like... Uh, let's test that uh, video decoding and let's test uh, RetroPie and, you know, have you had issues with the previous generation where it just wasn't fast enough? Then uh, leave a comment down below and I'll see if I can uh, put that into the next video. But anyway, the Raspberry Pi 4, Model 4 is here and uh, yeah. Judging by the specs, it is a very nice upgrade over the previous generation. So, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, press that like button and subscribe. And then uh, I'll see you next time.